call Ruth McGuire to be followed by Rose McCall. Around four minutes, please, Ms McGuire. Thank you, um, Presiding Officer, and I thank Rona Mackay for securing this debate on supporting foster carers in the workplace. I would like to recognise and applaud her personal commitment in, in this regard. Foster care provides care for children in a family setting who can't live with their own families, and there are many reasons why children come into care. Foster care can last weeks, months, or for the rest of a childhood, depending on the child's circumstances. We are... Um, Foster Care Fortnight is happening right now, May 15th to 28th, and I know that in my local area, the Council's Families for Children team are keen to attract new carers, and to support that, they're hosting an information event in Irvine's volunteer rooms from 10 till 3 on Monday, June 5th. For people who are interested in becoming a foster carer, it's going to be a relaxed drop-in session that will provide information on fostering and adoption opportunities to people um, who would like to know more. Um, some of North Ayrshire's foster carers will be there on the day and share their experience. I understand that the team are particularly keen to hear from those who feel they could offer a home to children who have disabilities and those who could take a small family group so that siblings can remain together. There's no such thing as a typical foster carer. You can be single, cohabiting or married. There are flexible options to foster care with different arrangements possible. It can include providing short breaks, interim fostering and longer term support for young people. I was really struck by some of the personal, personal testimony of North Ayrshire foster carers who shared their experience ahead of the event. Um, and I would like to share some of that with the Chamber of May. Suzanne has been a foster carer in North Ayrshire for six years, mainly providing short break breaks for young people. She said, I became a foster carer because one of my friends was a foster carer, and I witnessed how she'd made such a difference to the wee boy she was looking after. She'd made such a difference to his life, and I thought that would be something I would like to give another child. I enjoy seeing the progress that the children in my care are making, it's really good to see them thrive and be part of the community and just see them progressing. She says that she feels there's a good network with carers at the council and that there are training facilities, they meet up for training and socially for a coffee. She urges folk, if they're thinking of becoming a foster carer, then to pick up the phone and contact the Health and Social Care Partnership. She says getting more information, speaking to carers um, and having a chat on a more informal basis can be helpful. Sonia is another foster carer in North Ayrshire. She's experienced and has been looking after children for almost 20 years and is currently caring for young people on long-term, short-term and respite case basis and is also an adoptive parent. She shared, at the moment, I've got three children and one young person on a continuing care basis, which is when you look after a child who reaches the age of 18 and they can stay with you for as long as you wish. And they go on to be supported by through care services, which offer support up to the age of 26. Sonia decided to investigate fostering after seeing an advert in her local newspaper. And she initially cared for two young boys who came into her family when they were aged just two and 15 months old. And they've now moved on to live with a family member. She describes them as being the light of her life, adding, They came in and they made our whole family's life great. That's the only way to describe it. Now they visit me every year. The bond that me and the boys have is second to none. It's like having your own birth child. There's no difference there. For me, that's what fostering is about. If you can take a child on, they don't need to be your birth child to love them and give them the security that they need. Presiding officer, figures from the Fostering Net Network report state that nearly 40% of foster carers combine fostering with other work. Those who do say that a supportive employer can make all the difference, enabling them to balance employment with looking after children. I'll be following Rona Mackay's lead and exploring as how an employer I can sign up and would encourage employers of all sizes in my constituency to have a look at the scheme. It's a real opportunity to make a difference for families and children in our local community and to provide improved support for your employees. A win for everyone. Presiding officer.